Hello there, this is Elia Jamalta talking about uh, Sentinel EMS Enterprise uh, and I would like to show you the steps how to create a license. Talking about license, we know that uh, there is a licensed application, this is a, a, an, I, an ISV software vendor application that uh, there is some additional uh, enforcement method over there that will enforce uh, the application and the license. And there is an external license. This license can be a file or a string or some digital uh, uh, digital content uh, that reside either locally on the hard disk or maybe in some uh, some uh, uh, web uh, server or maybe in a in a physical uh, hardware dongle that is connected to your USB or whatever, there are many places. Of course, this license uh, in most of the cases is, is encrypted, is hidden, is, uh, is signed, many techniques that will uh, ensure that the license will not be abused by anyone. And only the enforcement that reside inside the application will make sure that it will be able to see the license and according to the license, uh, the application will work. For instance, if the license says you can work until tomorrow, then once the application runs, it checks how long can I still be working and the license says you can still work, be working. But tomorrow, let's say at noon, once the, once the, when the application tries to see what is going on with the license, the license might say uh, not anymore, it's until today and therefore the licensed application or the enforcement inside the application will make sure that the application stopped working. So, here are the steps how to create a license. So, there are a lot of steps I'm going to uh, elaborate a little bit uh, shortly. But the, in the, at the end of the road there is a license. And in this license, as we saw before, will be placed near the licensed application. Uh, in most of the cases it will be uh, in the end user machine. It, it doesn't have to be there but in most of the cases it will be in the end user machine because for instance for cloud uh, enforcement uh, there is no file. The license stays somewhere in the web and the application will make sure to, to find this license and, sh and see whether it, it, what are the conditions to be working. But what, is, what you see here are the steps for creating a license and we are, since we are talking in, about Sentinel EMS Enterprise, the license, uh, the default license that is in most of the cases uh, used with the Sentinel EMS is Sentinel RMS and these steps are for Sentinel RMS enforcement uh, and the license here is the license for Sentinel RMS. So let's get started. What are the steps? Of course, um, the, the picture here does not include all the available op and optional um, things uh, and methods that you can do, but generally basic, this is how you create a license. Uh, many, why there are so many things? Because uh, it allows you as a software vendor uh, to, to make it flexible for your demands. This is one explanation, one, th there are so many options. And second is that not all the time you have to do all the steps, right? So let me just start. The first thing that needs to be done is to create a license model. The license model says, uh, for instance, if it's a trial just for a, a very short time period, uh, that the license will be able to just for for trial where uh, for for people to to change to check my uh, application etc or the license uh, needs to be uh, that it allow only 10 users to be working at the same time uh, or maybe I want to allow uh, the license to be working only on specific machines uh, and it is called locked like I want to lock it that I will make sure that only specific people who or end user who has had received my license, only them 
would be able to be working with my application and many many other optional things that uh, relates to license models so the very first thing is the license model creation or in more in most of the to be more accurate is um, is copying a license model and using it according to your needs then there is a feature the feature needs to have a license model of its own so you have to take one of the license model that you had created or had uh, used uh, and and link it to each one of the features what is a feature a feature is, is is a component of your application, part of your application that you want to sell it uh, as, as, as alone. Or maybe you want to make sure that only the people who has this feature will be able to use your component. Uh, for instance, if I sell that just for an, a big example, uh, an overview, if I want to sell uh, Office, Microsoft Office, then maybe Microsoft Office is one product, but I can divide it into uh, PowerPoint, uh, the document, and uh, and and uh, Excel. Let's say three different uh, products. So I will create three different features: feature one for PowerPoint, feature two for Excel, feature three for documents. Uh, and therefore, I would be able to uh, to send to my to anyone who wants to set, to buy from me. I can send either feature one that only PowerPoint will be able to be working there or feature two or both of them or three of them whatever I want so each feature represent one component or one part of my application that I can that I want to be selling uh, separately or maybe with other things but it's like a component or part of my application then I create a product a product is similar to what I'm offering to my customers uh, like if I have uh, one product which says this product is Excel so it means that it will have a feature inside it because the product has feature inside it uh, and, and therefore the product uh, let's say product of Excel will have the feature number two let's say that uh, represent the fact that I'm a able to be working with with Excel uh, for let's say until the next year or something like this but I can have another product of Excel that is called let's say uh, product Excel perpetual meaning you can get Excel not only for one year you can get it for lifetime forever uh, and therefore there will be another product of Excel and uh, the product will also use the feature uh, too for Excel but the the, the in, in the product it will be defined that the the license is forever never ends never expired these two things uh, or maybe three things the license model the feature and the product are all needs to be re -pre uh, prepared ahead they need to prepare by product management they have to decide what what is important for us which license models which are features and which are the products and they have to to stay uh, and and be ready for any customer who wants to buy now whenever a customer wants to buy uh, my application as a software vendor then I create an entitlement for him the entitlement the entitlement means that he, this customer is entitled to get a license from me and once I create an entitlement in most of the cases it will be uh, let's say to make it uh, sim to simplify it each entitlement for each customer so let's say a customer is calling I want a license for Excel so I will create an entitlement for him and put inside the product of the Excel that uh, fits to him fits to this customer and then when I cre create entitlement and, and generate it there is a product key uh, that is generated the product is like a string that uh, identifies that the, uh, the entitlement and the entitlement to get some product with features inside it of course and I provide this product key uh, to my customer uh, this customer will create an activation uh, on his machine the activation means that I'm using this product key which represents this product and feature etc in order to create a license that will fit to my computer to my machine why 
because in mo most of the cases the license that I want to create is uh, to generate eventually is something that should be working only on on a specific machine according to the machine fingerprint the hardware fingerprint in most of the cases for instance uh, the, the motherboard ID the uh, CPU ID and other characteristics that uh, represent my specific machine. Uh, in order to create the fingerprint, I have several uh, optional things as, an, as a customer. Uh, but at, at the end of the road, the process of activation uses the fingerprint and the product key to create a license, a file. And this file, uh, afterwards, I can, re I can make revocation to return it back if I want before the, the time that it hands. But this license, when once put inside uh, my machine next to the application, it will allow me to be working uh, as as I required. So, to sum up, these are the steps. You have to define a license model, then define a feature with the license model, then define a product which includes feature one feature or more, and then once you, when your customer is calling to ask a, a license then you create an entitlement and the entitlement you uh, add inside product or one product or several products you generate it generates a product key this product key go to the end user machine and the end user machine can activate it uh, in most of the cases it can be done using um, a customer portal which is a, a nice and convenient way the activation will use a fingerprint of the machine which identify the specific machine at the end of the activation there is a license created and this file uh, is to be used for uh, allowing to be working with the application with the license application that was about the steps for creating an RMS license using the Sentinel EMS Enterprise thank you for watching have a good day